in today's video, I'm going to be doing a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial, and it is on this look right here. I think I'm going to call it something along the lines of like a frosted or icy look, and I don't know. I just really like the way it came out. I did use almost all drugstore products in this tutorial, almost all of them. There are just a few that are more high-end, but I will get into them as I'm in the video. Um, if you guys can see that I have this beautiful piece of jewelry on, I have some exciting news that a company called Marina Collections reached out to me and asked if I would like to be an affiliate with them. And so I looked over their website, I looked over their jewelry, I looked over their designs, and I decided to go ahead and do it. And I was sent this piece. This is called the Andy Necklace. And I will insert some like close-up shots too in here so you can get a better look of it. But I just got it the day after Christmas and I thought this is so perfect for New Year's Eve. It's so bold. It makes, makes such a statement that I have to wear this on New Year's Eve. I just think it's so beautiful. I thought it would go well with the look. So I wanted to include it in here. If you guys are big fans of statement jewelry, I definitely suggest you check out Marina Collections. They have a ton of stuff in there. They have necklaces and bracelets. They actually have like subscription boxes that you can get that will send you jewelry every couple of months. I think it's really awesome and if you guys do want to check it out, I do have a coupon code with them. I will leave it in the description box below, but it is just Samantha J. So you can use that. I believe it's for 20% off your order. So check the description box. All of that info will be down there below along with the link to Marina Collections. I can link to this beautiful Andy necklace as well if you guys want to check it out because I just think it's super stunning, but I was so excited to be an affiliate with them. So of course, because it is an affiliate code, if you guys do use my code to check out, I do get a small commission. So I want to make sure you guys are aware of that. But if you do purchase anything and you use my affiliate code, I thank you so much. You are just helping me buy more makeup and jewelry. <laughs> so thank you. But yes, if you guys would like to see how I got this New Year's Eve makeup look, please keep so watching. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyes with the Benefit Air Patrol Eye Primer. I just got a sample of this, so I'm trying to use it up. So that's why I am using this one. And so far, I really, really like it. I like that it color corrects too. I think that's really awesome. Next, I'm going in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush, and I'm just patting that over the primer so my eye is not tacky. Then coming in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid, and that's going to be a base for the eyeshadows that I put on. And I'm not being very precise at all. I'm just kind of placing it on there, and then I'll take my finger and kind of smooth it all out. Next, I'm coming in with the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows, and I'm sorry that clip went so fast, you couldn't see the name, but it is, oh, now I can't remember what it is, and I don't have it by me. I'll link it below, but it's like my favorite color. And I'm coming in with a BH Cosmetics brush, and this is just kind of like a, it's got a point at the end, and I'm placing that like in the outer V, and then blending it into my crease, but mostly just focusing it on the outer V of my eye, and leaving the inner part of my eyelid alone for now. And then coming in with another L'Oreal Infallible Shadow, this is in Ice Latte, and I'm taking a large flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics, and I'm placing that in the inner part of my eye and towards the middle of my eyelid, kind of blending it, starting to blend it in with the blue. And I'm going to take some of my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to spray that same brush and come back in with the Ice Latte color. And it just helps bring out the pigment. I know MAC isn't from the drugstore, but I don't have anything like this from the drugstore. You're also going to see me flip my brush here and pat it over the blue. And that's just going to bring out the blue pigment as well. 
Then coming in with a MAC pigment, this is in vanilla, and I'm just using a very small eyeshadow brush for this. Spraying it with the Fix Plus and then putting this just in the inner corner of my eye. And again, I know this isn't drugstore, but I don't have any loose pigments that I really, really like. And when I thought of a New Year's Eve look, this MAC vanilla pigment was the first thing that came to my mind. So I really wanted to use it. I hope you don't mind. But I'm also going to place that in my tear duct and then also as my brow bone highlight. I'm going to come back in with a little bit more of the first shade on the big brush that I used from BH Cosmetics and place a little bit more product in the outer V of my eye and kind of blend them all together. And then I decided that my inner corner wasn't good enough, so I went back in with the vanilla pigment and just brightened it up. And I mean, you can do this as many times as you want. I think I probably did it like a total of three or four times. You do you. And then I came back in and blended everything once again. I just make sure these look very blended and get them to my liking. Then I just took a makeup remover wipe and removed any fallout. The MAC pigment especially has a lot of fallout on the face, which is why I do the eyes first. Coming in with the NYX Two Timer Liner, I'm using the felt tip side first to create a wing. And I realized this was really hard to do on camera because I really needed both hands to do it. So I'm going to pop off camera, complete the eyeliner, and then come back. But it's because the eyeliner is not good. I don't like it. But then I'm going to flip the, the liner over and use the coal liner side to do my bottom water line. And again, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't recommend this eye pencil from NYX. I'm going to come back in with the first eyeshadow shade and the same brush that I was using to apply it to and just kind of lightly tap that on my lower lash line. Nothing crazy about this can be optional. I just like the sparkle it gave me down there. Then I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Prime, the Blur and Illuminate Primer, to prime my face. For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and applying that with my Morphe M439 brush. I want to use this foundation in particular for New Year's Eve because it doesn't have SPF in it, which means you won't get any like harsh white flashback when you take pictures. And everyone knows on New Year's Eve, you take a lot of pictures, so I don't want to look crazy in any of them. And I'm bringing the foundation down on my neck, like on my earlobes, up into my hairline, just making sure we don't have any demarcation at all. Then I'm going to use the Fit Me powder and just like a big fluffy powder brush. And I'm going to use this to set my foundation. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere all night. For concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I believe my shade is in light pen. I'm going to put that underneath my eyes. I'm going to put it on uh, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow. And I'm also going to put some around like my mouth and nose area where I tend to be getting red lately. And then, I'm sorry I like cut out that clip, but this is the Morphe G2, the buffer brush. And this is what I'm going to be using to buff in that concealer. And this brush, since I bought it, has basically replaced the Beauty Blender for me. I can't remember the last time I used 
my beauty blender. It's very sad. My beauty blender is. I'm happy. I love this brush. And then to set that, I'm coming back in with my e.l.f. Small Paper Brush and the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I'm just going to pat that onto all the places that I put the concealer so it stays in place. Next, I'm coming in with some glitter because this is a New Year's tutorial and of course we have to have glitter. This is a gold glitter that I picked up from NYX. And I like it because I actually use the brush to extend my winged liner out a little bit more. Like the liquid from the glitter kind of helps extend that line. And it kind of helped make it a lot more precise. I actually, when I was doing my other eye, I didn't know it was going to do that. And I ended up really, really liking the look. And then I'm going to also bring it down on my lower lash line. Not all the way. I do it till about halfway and mostly focus it on the inner corner. Coming in with these Eye Lure lashes in collaboration with Vegas May, it's the Shining Star lashes. And while I'm waiting for the adhesive to dry, I put some the Final Lash Mascara on my lower lashes because you have to wait until it gets tacky so you can put your eyelashes on. So I like to multitask, I like to dance, I like to save that money, the usual. I also did my eyebrows during this time. I put on the Maybelline Master Gel Drama, I think is what they're called. And then I tried to put the lashes on on camera and it was just too hard. I had to pop off, put them on, and then I fixed them on camera. Yeah, girl. Coming in with the NYX Matte Bronzer and a like, angled brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna bronze up my face a little bit on like my cheekbones and I'm also going to place this like towards my hairline under my jaw and then I dust it just a little bit on the sides of my nose just so my nose isn't like super washed out and has a little bit of color to it. With blush, I'm using the Milani Dolce Pink and the M, I believe this is the 427 Duo Fiber Blush Brush from Morphe. Just placing that on the apples of my cheeks. It's a really pretty pink blush and it has some shimmer to it too. Some shimmer. And I thought it tied in with the look. I'm going to use this Real Techniques. It's actually a blush brush, but I use it as a blending brush. Just going to make sure everything is blended in. And then I had to use the Becca and Jaclyn Hill, the Champagne Pop Highlighter. And you'll see I got a lot of highlighter on my brush one time, so then I was like just eating my brush because I went a little crazy. But it's Champagne Pop, you have to use it on New Year's Eve. This is my favorite highlighter right now, and I actually don't have any drugstore highlighters that I like. So I made the executive decision to go with this one. So I'm putting it on my cheekbones, I'm going to put it down the bridge of my nose, I'm going to make that little ball of unicorn dust on the end of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and then I come back in for more. And yep, that's, that's I mean it's New Year's Eve, you have to glow, like the ball, right? Right. Yes, girl, glow. For lips, I'm coming in with the ColourPop, uh, their Ultra Matte Lipstick in Midi. Since the eyes, I just didn't want to use a really like bold red or bold color, but I also didn't want to go nude. And I really love Midi because when I think of Midi, I think of like an icy pink. And so because this look reminds me of like icy, you know, like latte, I thought what better than to use Midi. and. I don't need to use a lip liner with a ColourPop Ultra Matte. I think they work just well without them. And then I spray myself with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and voila. Okay, so this is the final result. I really hope you guys liked this tutorial and you liked this video. 
Uh, I'm really excited for this look. I think it's beautiful. This is actually a makeup look that I used to do quite a bit when I got the two L'Oreal Infallible Shadows. I've actually used a look very similar to this for a bridesmaid look. Uh, I think I did it in two different weddings, my, my cousin and my friend's wedding. I use these shadows because I just think they are so beautiful and especially together. They just really make the eyes pop. The lashes, now that I cut them down and I understand like how to place them better, I really do like the lashes and they are very affordable. Uh, I do want to let you guys know, be sure to check out the video that went up prior to this. It is my post-holiday shopping gift guide video for yourself now that you got your gift cards and you're going shopping. But it's a really important video because I do have my YouTube 1K giveaway coming up hopefully soon. As soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway for you guys. And I want you guys to vote in that video. Every single thing that I mention in that video is from Sephora. And I want you guys to vote on it. Whichever product that I mention that receives the most votes in the comments, I'm going to buy that. And that will for sure be included and the 1k subscriber giveaway and it's going to be closing soon so it is still open right now so make sure you go watch that video make sure you vote in the comments tell me what you guys want me to buy because I will buy it and you will see that in a giveaway very soon so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial I'm getting a better feel for making them for you I hope a little bit kind of it is still coming off my phone so I know the quality is not the best but I'm getting there. I bought a camera. I ended up returning it. I didn't like it, but that's okay. I will get another one sometime soon. I hope you guys all had a great holiday. I hope you have a wonderful New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, whatever it is that your plans may be. And here's to a fabulous 2016. I cannot wait to see what this year has in store. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.